Look, the games we play are great, but they can be glitchy as hell. All those random, infuriating, malfunctioning bits of code suck when they happen to you, but they can be even more annoying for pros. One bad glitch can cost a pro an entire tournament. So today, we're gonna take a look at the bugs that f***ed over esports top players. But before we get into that, I wanna remind you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way you'll never miss a video just like this one. And with that, let's get into the top 10 glitches that f***ed over the pros. Kicking us off at number 10, we have an absolutely out of this world incident that happened during the 2019 PUBG Global Championship. Back of the bus. Yeah, no, I mean, sometimes, he, yeah, you know, sometimes, man. sometimes crazy things happen. And uh, not great for Poppins, but. The Rumblers player Cherry Poppins was driving a car through the game when it crashed into a building, but instead of exploding or becoming unusable, PUBG's engine sent the vehicle straight into the stratosphere. Nice headshot from Xiong Jiang onto Xiao Lu. Cherry po oh, oh my okay. goodness, what's just happened? He's gone to space. Okay. Bye bye. Uh when the car finally came down, it exploded, knocking Cherry Poppins unconscious and leaving his prone body at the mercy of the other players, who were quick to finish the job his cosmic adventure could not. Engine physics one, Cherry Poppins zero. Well, we'll pray for you, Cherry. Oh no, not like this. Not like this indeed, and he's gonna get picked off too. Silzen, uh, you know, he, he, what can you do? Taking the number 9 spot is Darshan and the unfortunate minion block that cost him his life during a match between CLG and Immortals at the NALCS Summer 2016 playoffs. They actually moved their duel into the mid lane as well to try and pressure that central section of the map to open up space for this infernal. And Darshan is just taking a beating. Yeah, and this physical damage from Huni. Oh, he gets the stun! Oh, that's the good news there. Darshan gonna try and get himself out of the way. Huni does pick up the kill. Face dives onto his face. Up. Oh. After getting trapped by the pesky bug for about 8 seconds and falling to Hooney, Darshan attempted to call for a pause to get the issue sorted out. Sadly for him, the minion block was deemed a normal part of the game and CLG had to take the L on that one. So this is it right here. Minion blocked, can't move, it's a normal thing in the game. Talks about pathing issue and he can't get out of it fast enough and that's why he gets stunned there and he wasn't able to get out. Coming in at number eight, we have Flamey's Knife taking on a mind of its own. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I think this Na'Vi squad now that uh, uh, we uh, would love to see that again. Maybe, maybe what, just what happened. Now, as much as they suck, team kills happen. But to be fair, they're mostly accidental and are usually kind of hard to avoid. Usually. But during an ESL Pro League Season 10 match, when Flamey's knife stretched across time and space to stab Simple to death, it wasn't Flamey's fault at all. So what is this about then? Uh. Oh, what? What? I, you know, I've done that before. When you, he didn't when, even see him though. No. He's got, he's got full 360, Harry. That's he, a double-edged knife right there, yeah. man. CS Goad indeed. Everyone's smiling, having a great time. Simple doesn't look yeah, like he's having a great time. <laughs> Coming in at number seven is an Aurelian soul bug that interrupted the match not once, but twice over the course of a summer 2016 playoffs match between CLG and TSM. As soon as the fortification is gone from the top lane turret, CLG has been very disciplined about going up there as soon as possible. TSM has paused because of a suspected bug on CLG, so they're actually investigating that right okay. now, but it looks like they have cleaned up uh, all the suspicions and we'll get back into the game. A few moments later. Oh, good barrel slow right there. This game is keeping you anxious right now and <laughs> even more so. You were speaking of being anxious. Oh, yeah. my Let's word. calm down there a little bit. After the glitch appeared a second time, it was ultimately decided that the game would be remade and Aurelian Soul was disabled. TSM actually had a ward in the blue buff and off on the side, you could see Aurelian Saul's orbs orbiting around, right. but he wasn't actually there. He was in mid lane. While the matchup was close enough where it was hard to say who exactly was screwed over the most, the consensus was that it was probably CLG. Yeah, it's a really rough situation. I'd say probably more so for CLG because they're the ones that have Huhi, who's been playing yeah. Aurelian Saul for so long, and now they can't play it in the series. 
Coming in at number 6 is a player who has had his fair share of bad luck, Carrigan. But the mishap that Carrigan encountered at DreamHack Open Tours 2019 really takes the cake. During a Mouse Esports vs Valiance match, he shot someone square in the head and nothing happened. He could get this gun. There is a player cat though. Oh no! He hasn't done it! He's been killed! No, not like this! You really hate to see it! You just hate to see it, man. Did he just get mega CS gold though? I, it looked on. That's the crazy that thing. That was my first reaction is that hit him in the head. I would love to see a replay of that. That's yeah, on his head. that's so ridiculous. That's on his head. There's no, you cannot tell what? me. What? Let's just hope that someday Lady Luck is planning to pay Carrigan back for that one. I'm glad we got to see that. Whatever fault you had for Carrigan, wipe it off the board, delete your Reddit threads. The man deserved the headshot there. Our fifth entry is brought to you by Blizzard and their shoddy remaster of Warcraft. At DreamHack Anaheim 2020's Warcraft Reforged tournament, Thorzain was about to take a victory off of one of the best Warcraft 3 players out there, Moon, when the game disconnected. We have no Breath of Fire, by the way. It is Drunken Haze, so big mischance on these Dragonhawks at a disconnect. I'm gonna assume Thalzain dropped, but I feel yes. like Moon was on the way to holding this attack. Oof. Ooh, wow. That fight was the most important one in this game yet. Well, shit happens, right? The two then played a rematch that was also cut short by a premature disconnect, costing Thorzane yet another sure win. Once this... And looks like another drop just happens. Oh, wow. Their third game ran without issues, except this time, Moon took the lead and won. And the tournament lifeline of the Swede is relying on tanks. Even as an AP, and Torzen is just not. gonna tap out. Moon moves on to the semifinals, where he will face Foggy later today. Absolutely, Master versus Apprentice coming up. You cannot, uh, yeah, you have to feel bad for Thorzane, that's for sure. That is one protracted loss for poor Thorzane. Thanks, Blizzard. Coming in at number four, we have proof that not even the Great Fallen is immune to getting CS Goad. The Smoke Molly Bug caused smoke grenades to be completely useless against Molotovs for a time, ending in many a fiery death for pros and non-pros alike. Plenty of players fell victim to this bug, but none more prominent than Fallen, who got burnt to a crisp at ESL 1 New York 2017, starting off a key round of overtime with a hot Molly bath. Molotov's doubled up again, Fallen, same example, has to fire through, Molotov glitches, and the smoke nearly costs him as he goes down to 2 HP. So he loses his smoke, his HP, gets Please nothing for Valve. that. <laughs> Hit the smoke we were discussing, wow. that should pit the flames out, but sometimes it does bug out and doesn't go off. Fallen didn't go down because of it, but certainly didn't help his round. Taking the number three spot is a moment where Plup learned that sometimes you can't even trust the ground beneath your feet. I love, I love Bad that. this map, that's right, the crowd is right. SCJ just rolled with it too. He was just like, stop, sure. stop, stop. Yeah, great. In Shine 2018's top eight, Plup was facing off against S2J on Pokemon Stadium. Things were looking pretty good for Plup's Fox, but then S2J grabbed him and yeeted him clean through the stage and into the Shadow Realm. All right, can S2J put together a Johnny Stalker? Are we gonna see Plup go up 2-0? For the first time, could we see... Oh, what, what the hell? hell? Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? The Pokemon glitch in top eight at Shine! Unreal! Freeze this map! Freeze this map! Even though this wasn't the first time this had happened, the chances of Plup falling through the cracks at that exact spot were minuscule. Fortunately though, Plup bounced back from that disastrous bug and won the set 3-1. And I think that is gonna do it. The shine will end the set. What a, again, we had that moment. We had our, 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 our sort of game breaking moment right there. But again, congratulations to Plup, just proving too fast, too punish heavy. Imagine completing your in-game objective and popping off in celebration only to be killed by the opposing team's sole remaining member because the timer kept going. There's panic on the streets Speechless. of London as we try to work out what has just happened. 
As unlikely as that sounds, that's exactly what happened to FaZe Clan's Call of Duty roster at CWL London 2019, which is why they're taking the number two spot on our list. It's a 2v2, Sal and Zuma, they're in and amongst it, Zuma finds one flag with the slam! And to save, my goodness, but I think the zone did, I don't even know what happened there. Here it is, and, and look at this, look at the red bar, the red bar is contested. It is contested right now. Slack slides in the zone, he's gone. And just to prove there's no justice in this world, the referees were rather unfazed by the whole situation and ended up ruling in LG's favor. Beast clan! No, no, what's going on? Mate, this is worse than the Austin. Austin Zuma captured the zone! It's been, they gave LG the win! I have no idea! Referee! What's going on? Referee! We're gonna have a riot in this place! And finally, taking the top spot on our list is the moment CSGO's chickens fought back. Love them or hate them, chickens are as iconic a part of CSGO as its legendary maps and skins. But at Star Series iLeague Season 4, Rops fell victim to one of the feathered menaces when a chicken killed him by standing in front of a door and effectively blocking Rops' only escape path. Fur has done a massive job. And with 10 seconds left, Rops has to hold onto his gun. Chicken blocking the door? I've not seen that before. If that gets him killed, oh my god. A chicken blocking the door just got Rob's killed. Obviously, falling prey to a glitched AI bird sucks, but considering the way some players treat them, perhaps it was only fair. There's, there's no justification for having them in the game. No, absolutely not. Well, but you can press E on them and they can follow you. That's true. All right, there you go, guys. Those were some of the glitches that really f***ed over the pros. Which one of those was your favorite? Did we miss any out that really should have been on the list? Let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Ooh, good trade, good, good off trade, dude. Hello? One corner off. Corner dead. One more. What the f*** is going on here? I, I'm gonna fall back via I took full control. There's a Just chicken there, I bet. I can't open this door, TFs. What the hell? That's probably it. It was a fucking chicken.